Good morning. So it's the fourth Sunday of Advent, which means that Christmas is in the process of rolling over us. But this year, to help us stay focused on the blessing that it's supposed to be and to grow in appreciation, we've been working our way through recognizing our wonderful lives and having an attitude of gratitude. Being ungrateful can be a trap, a trap that we can get stuck in. It's not compatible with happiness. Plenty of studies and all of our experiences are clear that there's no practice more effective at increasing your happiness and well-being than practicing gratitude. This series has been focused on the question of how we can all be more grateful. So we've been talking about the steps we can take that are somewhat obvious and entirely simple, just not always easy. The first step that we learn is to recognize the gifts and blessings that we're given. Gratitude is a thankful appreciation for something that we've been given. But if we don't see it, we can't be grateful. So admittedly, it can be difficult, especially when the going gets rough. The second step is to turn our attention from the gift toward the giver of the gift. When day after day we consciously choose to recognize God as the giver of our gifts and blessings, we improve that relationship and become better people in the process. It's all good. So the third step is going to be about practicing gratitude. That's today's topic. There are many ways to practice gratitude. You see a great example played out in the encounter that we heard in Luke's gospel in our reading today, which is known as the visitation. That Luke has already described the appearance of the angel Gabriel to Mary, and he announces to her this incredible plan that God has in store for her to be the mother of God. So on the heels of this amazing and life-changing, world-changing encounter, having just been given the highest honor in history, what does she do? Mary goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth. It sounds charming, doesn't it? But it wasn't. It was a long journey on foot that would have taken many days. With little in the way of comfort, it would have been dusty and dirty and dangerous. Mary goes to help Elizabeth prepare for the birth of Elizabeth's own child and to undertake the household duties that Elizabeth could no longer handle on her own. She joyfully receives Mary with a greeting that, along with Gabriel's greeting, would become the most famous one ever. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Then she asks, but who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Mary shows gratitude for her own motherhood by supporting Elizabeth. Elizabeth, in turn, responds with gratitude for the gift of Mary's presence, but also for the greater gift that Mary carries. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Elizabeth and her child within her, John the Baptist, recognize the child Mary herself carries. She's bringing the Lord to them. As for ourselves, we can be thankful for the people who have brought Jesus 
into our lives or brought you closer to him. None of us would know the Lord or anything about him if someone or maybe several someones had not introduced him to us. Maybe it was your parents or someone at church or at school or a friend or even a neighbor. You have a relationship with Christ because of someone else. So why not take some time to pray for that person this Christmas? There's also a second way to express gratitude to God for the people who have brought you closer to him. Thank God by doing the same for others. Mary's considered the proto-Christian. Just as she brought the Lord into the world, we are to bring him into our little part of it. We're to carry Christ in our hearts and bring him to our schools, our homes, and our workplaces. But most especially, this time of year, also into our Christmas gatherings that we'll enjoy this week. There's an ancient transcript with, which refers to Mary as Theotokos, the God-bearer. Wouldn't it be nice if someone someday thought of you that way as the person who carried Christ to them? Invest in a friend. Invest in a family member. Or invest in a co-worker who doesn't know Christ. Pray for them. Pray that God would use you to make himself known to them. That there, by your kindness, your charity, your joy, or in a thousand other ways, bringing Christ to others is the very best way to express gratitude. And it's also the very best way to celebrate Christmas. <laughs>